Hi there. Well, first of all, I just want to introduce myself. My name is Mike Malat, principal here at West Salem High School. And I'm Justin Yane, associate principal. We are just uh, following up with one of our traditions that we have here at West Salem High School uh, at reference to the Breakfast of Champions to say thank you and congratulations to all the great accomplishments some of our students have done here. And we want to take a few minutes just to let you know we do appreciate all the things that our students and our families do. It's a great opportunity for us to hear specifically from the faculty that have recognized uh, the students of the month. And following our introduction here, you'll see the comments from the, the students' teachers. And um, I think what's, what's important to point out is not only do our students do a great job uh, academically, but you're going to hear things that reference their, their character and their um, employability skills, things that are really important in us developing college and career ready students. And once again, thank you and congratulations to our, all of our students and our families for the great accomplishments our students have achieved here. Hi everybody, Mr. Martin here with my student of the month nomination. My student is Ryan Nichols. He is a hardworking young man who is excited about the content area, uh, is very conscientious about his actions, and is an overall nice person. Hi, I'm Ms. Pellinger and I am presenting the English Student of the Month. This month we have Lucas as our Student of the Month. I have Lucas in English 9. Uh, he always comes to class with a really positive attitude and a great work ethic. He's super polite and respectful to um, all the teachers and everyone around him, so that makes him really uh, fun to have in class. He's been an awesome student to have in class this year. Uh, we've worked through some challenging texts in English 9, and he's always put forth a ton of effort to exceed our expectations with the tasks at hand. Uh, he's been an excellent student in regards to participating in class and being a leader for his peers. He actively includes others with all the activities that we do, and he helps them if they need support within the classroom. It has been a pleasure to have him in class, and I really look forward to having him in class again this semester. Hi, I'm Amy Hansen, and I'm the Director of Theater Arts and Vocal Music here at West Salem High School. This month, we have chosen Shiwa Zhang as our Fine Arts Student of the Month. You can find Shiwa regularly here on the Hyder Center stage, as he's super involved in our drama, theater arts, vocal music, and instrumental music programs. Shiwa is a tenor in our concert choir, as well as in Salem Sensations, which is our competitive show choir. He also plays Barry Sachs in the Wind Symphony, Jazz One, and Salem Sound, which is our competitive show band. Not only is Shiwa a super talented student, but he is one of the most dedicated, hardworking, kind, and humble students that I've ever taught. Shiwa leads by example, and other students really look up to his positivity and strong leadership with all of our programs. Congratulations, Shiwa Zhang, on being selected as the Fine Arts Student of the Month. You truly deserve it. My name is Julie Arns. I'm one of the high school counselors. Our student services selection for student of the month is Alex Grunice. Alex is the type of student who we can never have enough of on our, in our building. They're always present with a helping hand in whatever situation arises. Just yesterday, Ms. Schweer had a student who was looking for a particular book that our library did not have. Alex overheard that and said, I happen to own that and I'll bring it in tomorrow. That is who Alex is. If we had to look in a book and look for a definition, it would read, Alex is kind, has great moral character, has a gentle heart, is compassionate, intelligent, and good for our world. Congratulations, Alex. Hi, my name 
my name is Allison Shulo. I'm one of the math teachers here at the high school. Um, I teach Algebra 2, and this month I'm nominating Rachel Yant for Student of the Month. Every day, without fail, uh, she walks into my classroom with a smile on her face, a positive attitude, asks me how my day is going, and it really brightens my day to see Rachel walk into my room. Um, but not only is she just a kind and caring person, she really does think about others. She's also a wonderful math student. She works hard. Um, she never takes a day off. She's always ready to take notes, ask questions, and not just ask me questions, but her peers as well. She really uses her resources well. And she also engages in really thoughtful discussion and adds to any mathematical discussions that we're having in a positive way. Um, when we get that infamous, when are we going to use this question, Rachel is really honestly curious when she might see this in the real world. And I really do appreciate that as a teacher. She is really everything you want in a math student. Um, so Rachel, congratulations and keep being awesome. My name is Mrs. Dellenbach. I'm one of the help and PE teachers here at West Salem. And for the student of the month, I chose Hunter Sarver. And why I chose Hunter, it's been a pleasure to get to know him um, the little bit that I do um, in the beginning of the second semester here. But from what I've noticed and, and seen throughout so far, um, he's been a pleasure to have in class. Uh, we did run the mile not too long ago, and he ran, gosh, I think, another half mile um, to help motivate other students, run with them, keep them going um, until they finished as well. And I thought that was super cool to see because uh, you don't see that a lot. So um, awesome to have a you know in-class motivator, someone who brings a bunch of energy and positivity to the class as well um, to help with his peers. Um, not only does he do that in activity days, but also in the classroom. He's asking questions, participating in discussion, and helps kind of make other people feel more comfortable as well to do the same thing. So it's been so much fun to have such a ball of energy in the class and I can't wait to continue the semester with him um, and see how else he grows and, and accomplishes throughout the class. Thanks. Good morning, I'm Mr. Rickheim. I uh, teach in the science department here at West Salem High School. And our February student of the month for the science department is Lexi Thompson. So I have Lexi in my AP biology class this year, which is a very challenging class. And I've been impressed with how hard Lexi has worked and also handled the uh, ups and downs that go with, with a college level class. Uh, and I've known Lexi for several years, uh, since she was a sophomore at least. She was in forensic science with me as a sophomore. And Lexi's always been nothing but polite, nothing but honest, and it's really a breath of fresh air to have, have a student like Lexi in the classroom. She basically makes any classroom a more positive learning uh, environment, and that's, that's a really big deal. So uh, congratulations, Lexi. Uh, well earned. Hello, my name is Eric Borey and I am a member of the Social Studies Department at West Elm High School uh, and it is my pleasure to announce our February 2022 Student of the Month, sophomore Sydney Flack. Sydney uh, was a rock star for me first semester in modern U.S. history. She uh, is off to a great start here, second semester in world cultures. Uh, she brings a positive attitude to class every day. She does a great job of participating, uh, gives great effort. She truly wants to understand the content. Um, ask questions when she needs help. She offers answers during class discussion, um, helps others as, as they need help in class, um, and her positive attitude just makes class fun. So on behalf of all of us in the Social Studies Department, Sydney, congratulations on being our February Student of the Month.
My name is Carrie Wilson-Smith. And I am one of the special services teachers here at West Salem High School. And it is my honor to share with you our student of the month in special services is Tia McLaurin. Tia is a freshman here at West Salem High School and has taken on the high school with all it has to offer. She is involved in school activities. She is a active learner and she is probably the nicest person I've ever met. She is kind and generous and will work with any student. She exemplifies the idea that when you are with a group of people that you may be uncomfortable with, that she's gonna make you feel comfortable. And so there's just absolutely nothing that she doesn't want to do or want to try. She loves school, she embraces everything here. And that's just her personality. Her work is excellent. She takes time to carefully complete her work. And if it's not to the standards it should be, she takes time to fix it. She in listens in class. She's an active participant. And to be perfectly honest, uh, she is by far the sweetest person, again, to, that I'm mentioning this, that I have ever met. So I am very proud to say that she's our student of the month in student services, and we wish her all the best for the rest of the year, and I enjoy uh, having her in my class. So congratulations, Tia. Hello, uh, Mr. Crozy here, uh, nominating Carson Hunt for the AAP Alternative Education Student of the Month. Uh, Carson has taken on this second semester with a full head of steam. He's been a kid that has been able to come in and instantly surprise you and put a smile on your face with a funny, like, little witty comment or um, little little side joke that only he says loud enough for you to hear. Um, he's been someone that I really appreciate being productive in the room, and he has taken on this semester with you know, full force for making sure he gets his stuff done and does it done well so that he can have his free time when he gets home. So I just want to applaud Carson. So nice job, and just keep doing what you're doing, doing an awesome job. So thank you. And once again, thank you and congratulations to our, all of our students and our families for the great accomplishments our students have achieved here.